Hello and welcome to jkkmobile.com We have Dell Mini 9 here and the reason for the video is getting 3G working on it uh, the easy way so as you may remember this netbook has a big hatch on the bottom it has two screws over there but I already lost them and it has a slot for 3G uh, but there's no connector so we can't can't put any any 3G card there no no slot so of course the the high-end way would be uh, soldering the connector there and uh, and so on but people are asking me a easier way to do this so this is now the easier way I'm um, sorry about my voice, I have a bit flu and fever here, so hopefully hopefully I don't cough a lot here. So, we don't have, have a slot here, but we have a similar slot for the Wi-Fi over here. And some of the readers have been actually asking if they could use the Wi-Fi slot. I'm taking the battery out. You should do that too if you if you open stuff from inside. So so we could take away the Wi-Fi card and put the 3G card there. And actually, if we do that, we have to use the Novatel uh, wireless uh, 850D because it has the SIM card slot on itself. So it we don't don't need to uh, have a separate SIM card slot because this connector over here is not connected uh, to SIM card slot which should be over here but it's em empty so this is like I said this is the easy way but I already tested that it doesn't work Dell in their great wisdom has disabled it so that you can only use this Wi-Fi on the slot it doesn't power on but as earlier noticed actually we don't have to care about that because we have a little hack over here this is a normal electric tape i have to cut it li to a little bit smaller so that i have like a two millimeter tape here now in my finger okay you can see it, it's small. Then I will tape the first two pins on the uh, uh, from the uh, left side of this uh, of this uh, uh, hole on the connector. I actually would need to only tape the the second one, which is called pin 20 but actually it's easier to tape them both because it doesn't matter if the if the pin 18 is also taped so you just put some tape over there to to keep the connector from from connecting to the to the pin that was easy so any any kind of uh, electric tape goes of course there are some high end tapes but this is just a normal stuff you can buy from gas stations so we have that there now then we stick that to the connector and we hope the tape stays stays on the on the pin and uh, put the screw on this used to have two screws also but not anymore and as we wanted to do it this way we will be using the Wi-Fi antennas they are of course not set for for 3G or HSTPA or GSM but they work so we don't care who designed them for what we will use them as they are working it's actually hard for me to see see what I'm doing as the cam is on my way but let's try let's try anyway okay cables there let's squeeze them 
so that the hatch will fit so now we have 3G there so now we don't have Wi-Fi anymore so if that's what you wanted throw away the Wi-Fi but now if you would like to still have the Wi-Fi you could of course use USB dongles but that sucks but you could also open a USB dongle or buy a, a USB based Wi-Fi card and put that uh, here or, uh, to the 3G slot because uh, soldering just uh, uh, four cables to the pins is easier. So if you if you want want to have Wi-Fi too, you would need to solder the USB cables to the pin 36, 38, and then power and uh, and ground. Uh, so depending you the cards, some cards are 3.3 volts, some are 5 volts. If you need 5 volts, you have to steal that from other ways but this was the easy way so we are not going to do any soldering this this is just for you you who have asked uh, is this possible and hopefully we will soon see that it is possible I, I have already installed the driver software the computer is now hibernated so it should be should be opening pretty fastly and we are here let's open the mobilink software oh found new hardware sorry so um, you can get these uh, 3G modems with the sim card from uh, mobilix at least uh, they are they have sold sold me these cards and I I'm, I'm really liking this card as, as you can use it on many other devices <laughs> let's wait a sec so it recognized the modem searching for network ready so right now we have working 3G there and of course we can connect let's connect connecting authenticating and connect it. So that was the easy way to do it. I can show you actually. Here is the. I'm, I'm pressing the FN2 now, and and it doesn't uh, see the Wi-Fi uh, there anymore, as the card is not there, and it it's not controlling the 3G either. So this would be always on, but of course that's what you want if you if you want it this way. Working fine. Let's do some surfing. Surfing's just for fun. Hey, I didn't want to sign in on the messenger. So, typing JKK on the location field, of course, brings us a site called JKK Mobile, which you should visit often, of course, to get the first information about the mobile computing so 3G on Dell the easy way not the best way here you go thank you for watching bye